The world's largest teapot was dedicated across the border in West Virginia today, but before that could happen, a lot of other things had to occur, including a little help from our Wayne Van Dyne. They're proud of a lot of things in Chester, West Virginia these days. That's Bobby Chevron. That's the Chester Junior High Band. And this is the world's largest teapot, a town landmark that almost wasn't. Local citizens wanted to restore it, but it was nearly falling apart from age. Well, I went and took a look at it. And with the rotted floor, the rotted walls, the windows out, the door off, I told them to burn it. I didn't think anybody could fix it. Someone did. It was restored by volunteers with money donated locally. But then a dispute with state highway officials over its location almost left them with no place to put it. If it hadn't been for you with the state, I don't think we would have had it. I'm positive we wouldn't have had it. Thank you. Governor Caperton's office finally cut the red tape, setting the stage for today's celebration, which even rain failed to stop. So it's official now. The world's largest teapot has been dedicated in Chester, West Virginia. Police Chief Terry Potts. Mayor Sally Riley, I dare you. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my hand. Wayne Van Dyne, KDKA Eyewitness News, Chester.